I has created a client onboarding flow that would help with their client generate hundreds of thousands in revenue all within Webflow. And today I want to show you exactly how I did it. So for reference, this client is an events company and they build marquee solutions for different type of events. And they have a whole bunch of different solutions for a whole bunch of different scenarios. They have different materials, different sizes, different ground solutions, different roofs and so on and so on. And the client approached me saying, hey, we need a simple multi-step onboarding flow for our users. And what we want to do is that they should be able to enter their details. When is it taking place? How large will it be? When can setup start? How long do you need this marquee solution? And take those user inputs and somehow calculate a quote that the user then can download directly. This should also be sent to the owner. And so they came to me asking for the solution. I was like, hmm, shit. This is going to be a challenge. I was like, well, I'm here for it. So what I did was that with Slater, Webflow and some flow, what is it called? With Webflow, Slater and Formly, and of course a little bit of custom magic code, I got this working fully within Webflow. So I want to break it down to you because I saw on Twitter that some of you were interested. So let's get right into it. First things first, what you see here on the screen is a simple multi-step form. Everything is native elements and it's built with something called Formly. And this is a third-party solution, you have to pay for it of course, but it is definitely worth it. And what this allows you to do is, like it says right here, allows you to build multi-step forms all within Webflow, just with a little bit of added uh, code. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of questions. We let the user go through everything and what they do is they enter their email, their contact information. Then, at some point, we get to where they start submitting their desired lens. And this is, of course, a slider that works thanks to FinSuite's attributes solutions. And so they input their lens, their widths, what type of roofs, how the sides are supposed to be, what kind of gabbles, and so on. They enter all of the different details and then when they reach the end they see this end screen showing the final price so your estimated price and then this text span right here is replaced with the actual quote price thanks to a little bit of custom code and then they can click download quote which automatically triggers the download function in their native browser allowing them to save the current page as a PDF and then they submit it which will be sent to the owner of this website so first things first if we hop on to Slater, which is my solution of choice to host custom code for client privacy reasons, this is all blurred right now because I don't want to reveal the client's actual prices, how they calculate their quotes to clients. I'm sure you understand that. But essentially what it does is, let me explain. So what it does is that it pulls all the different values that the user inputs here, for example. What's your preferred marking module size? So if they click 5 meter, we have the script that looks for this specific input with the ID module type 5 meter, dash 5 meters, and it saves that value and then it goes on to the next form element and it looks for the next one with a, with a specific ID and it looks for all of the different values that we need to know to calculate the quote. Once it finds all of the, these different inputs, it's a very simple math calculation and once it has all of the different values, it performs the calculation and what it does then is that it looks for this element, this text span with the ID final dash price and it outputs whatever value it had calculated to this text spam replaces price here with the actual price. And so once it has done that, this external script that we saw in Slater, it's done its purpose, it's not going to do anything more. Then what it does is that I have a script here that looks for the download quote button with that specific element ID, download-btn, looks for that element, and when triggered, this script triggers the default browser print function, which allows users to not only print it, but also save it as a PDF. So very nice. handy. And all of this custom code, because I do not uh, do custom code writing. What I did is that I used ChatGTP 
here to write the actual script. I gave it all of the different values that it needs to calculate and then explained exactly what it needs to do and it wrote it for me. Again, for privacy reasons, this JavaScript that the ChatGPT outputs is also blurred for privacy reasons. For the client, I'm sure you understand, I'm so sorry. All right, and once the user clicks download the quote, they save the PDF, they click submit. They're then automatically taken to this success page saying yes, thank you, we'll be in touch shortly. And the way this is done is simply with the default Webflow form function redirect URL. So I have slash success, which is the URL of this right here. Actually, it's not. So let me fix that. <laughs> I need to fix that before the client sees this. Good thing I recorded this video. So to summarize exactly what I showed you just now is we have three different components. We have Webflow, where we build, of course, the UI, the front end. Then we have Slater, where we host the external code, the script that does all of the function for calculating the quote price. And then of course we have the third and definitely not least important is the Formly. And that's an external solution, third party software that allows for multi-step forms. And I have intentionally decided not to go into detail exactly step by step how to build this because when I personally am challenged with uh, these type of challenges from clients, my initial gut reaction is Oh yeah, shit, of course I can do this. So I promise it, sign a contract, get paid. And then I'm like, oh shit, okay, I have to, <laughs> I have to actually solve this now. So what I do, and I want to emphasize this to other newer freelancers or professionals in the workflow space. You really need to have this kind of can do attitude because when I shared this on Twitter, most people were very, very surprised by how complicated this sounded. And some people DM'd me asking, oh wow, how did you do this? And I explained exactly, okay, so I have the script, I have the formally, I have Slater and so on. And every single person that I explained it to said, Oh wow, that's actually quite a simple solution. So the script is very simple. The multi-step solution is third party, so you just add attributes to elements. So it's all really simple once you actually know how it's built. And I am emphasizing this because everything is always difficult before you know how to do it, of course. I'm, I'm not saying that like it's some kind of super clever thing I just came up with. It's just a fact. So the next time before you say no, or maybe think of saying no to a client request because it seems too complicated. Instead, go have a few hours of thinking like, okay, so the client needs this. What do I already know how to do? Take those pieces, think of, okay, I know how to do these things, but I have these little missing puzzle pieces. And you, then you try to find solutions for those different puzzle pieces. And oftentimes it's a lot easier than you initially imagined. And it's only difficult because you just haven't thought of it before. The only way to grow as a freelancer, as a professional, is to constantly take on these challenges. I had never ever done this before, prior to having been requested by the client, and I had no idea how to build it either. But I took on the challenge and it worked out perfectly nicely. And because I have now built it, I can share it with you, so I gain credibility in terms of just knowing how to do things. And I can also apply this in the future for potential future client requests from someone else or the same client. So I have learned something new which improves my value, which means I can charge higher prices and I just increase my knowledge, which obviously is a very good thing, always. And to hopefully help someone else out there, I will be sharing the Webflow project and the Slater code, as well as the Formly links right down in the description right now, completely for free, because I want to help you guys. And don't worry about the code. I've completely swapped out the prices, so it's not accurate to the actual client anymore. So thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.